Hey guys, this is Nicole. She is vertically challenged and has a ton of problems, but she is a load of fun. She has back pain, of course, here, and but she really is here because she swam when she was in high school, competitively threw her shoulders out, and she had to stop because it hurt so bad. She has neck pain that really won't stop, shoulder pain that just won't let her sleep at night. We tested her shoulders here. You can see all the different tests we did here. We saw her x-rays, and it is so apparent where the problem is. We treated her. Goddamn, that was crazy, yo. <laughs> My name's Nicole, I'm 18 and I'm a art student. Originally I had like injuries from swimming for my shoulder, but that kind of parlayed into a lot of different problems with my shoulder and my neck gotcha. after I quit. Can't really sleep because of it. If I sleep on my side, it will hurt really bad. Sleep has been probably, it's got progressively worse since like probably seventh grade. Gotcha. And so she also has some anxiety, some depression setting in. And so that happens because of lack of sleep. Head pops in her sinuses. And so she had that surgery before. That's back like this, please. How about that? A little bit of my lower back. On a scale of one to 10, what is that? Like a three or two. How about that in your neck? I'm um, like a four right here. Like a here. four? And you pointed to the big knob right here, right? Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Look at the ceiling, please. How about that? Um, like tension, like probably four or five. Four shoulder, above the arm, above the head. Now, how much tension in your right shoulder, please? Like a five. How about that one? It's like a three. This is like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you pain, tension in your knees or your back? Oh, I feel it more in my legs and you know, my you lower feel? back. She has a ton of atrophy in her leg. Go ahead and pull both pants up, pant legs up. Mm -hmm. What you're looking for is looking at her calf. Okay, look at her calf. And the right one is definitely smaller than the left one. What are you nervous about? I'm scared about this pain. Does the adjustment itself hurt? Only if you fight. Okay, I'm not gonna fight it. <laughs> get a lot, knock me out. If she cries, make sure you get the t-shirt. Oh, I'm sorry, you Boy. did you? <laughs> We have 12 millimeter right imbalance, right to TMJ and 11 degree scoliosis. Here we have 11 degree curve in the low back and significant rib calcification. Here we have one half atlas wear and mid cervical reversal. And lastly, we have tons and tons and tons of constipation here. So I started to adjust because she self adjusts before. How much do you self adjust by the I way? I don't really self adjust anymore. I just be cracking whenever but I you turn used my to, neck. But you used to, right? Yeah, like three years ago maybe. Three years ago, and why did you stop? Because my dad was like, that's not good for you. So yeah. I was like, all right, I will stop. You heard her say that it cracks all the time. That's from too much self-adjusting. So her body's hypermobile, so it wants to cut, crack all the time, and it doesn't help. It only makes it worse. Okay, I'm just right through here. God damn, that was crazy, yo. <laughs> mm. It was like not that painful. It was just more of like a. I was Told like, you. all right. Yeah, and it does feel different already, right? It does feel different. You're anticipating a little now. That one hurt a little bit, but it felt good. <laughs> Just gonna help Nicole up here. She's probably gonna be a little dizzy after that neck adjustment. Uh, we're gonna ask how she's doing, but most importantly, I'm gonna tell her not to twist and turn or she will undo my work. Let's listen in. Well, I feel a little lightheaded. Lightheaded, okay. Um, but I think that's just cause I'm used to like my neck being like, well, like my shoulders definitely feel more relaxed because usually like when I touch them, they're like bricks. Now they're more like rubber. How long was that whole process? That was like maybe not even two minutes. And how long do you make your dad rub your shoulders for? Like 20 minutes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then like, how do you even tell him? I just like take out the like Veluca oil like. Because yeah, I love her. Also Goodness. like this does not hurt as much. Because I'm used to like my neck feeling really like constrained. So like if I tie my hair up, I'll be like, oh, my hair's hurting my neck. But it's just like my neck hurting my the rest of my head. So I'm like, now I don't feel it as much in She's the back. She's way smarter than you told me she'd be. Excuse me? Now for a quick trip down the hallway to recalibrate the spine. Let's see how she's doing now. How was the walk? Did it feel any different to walk? Yeah. What did the walk feel less like? Because like, like usually when I walk, I can feel the pain in my neck and like um, on my like traps and stuff like that. How about, it kind of like how, weighs me down. But so how about I the gait? Like how about lighter. did it feel easier to walk to? Yeah, yeah, it yeah, felt yeah. a little lighter. The reason I always ask that question, guys, is because this is a closed kinematic chain, meaning what I do here affects the entire body instantly again. This one you had tension, I think it was a four on this one. Go ahead and go back. There's not really that much. Is it a little better? It's like a two. Okay. You had pain right here before, right? Yeah, it's just more like sore, but it How doesn't really hurt. It's like a lot better. Gotcha, look at the ceiling, please. How about that? A lot better. A lot better? Yeah, I feel like usually when I look up, there's like something behind my neck. Stopping you. But now they're like, yeah. just my neck. Just right above your head. Does it hurt? That was a five a minute ago. Mm-hmm. Put it down. You could still be a championship Oh, she, looked, she cracked a little bit. It's okay, though. Okay, behind your back like this. Good. That was a three. 
This is like maybe a one, not even. By the back up? No effect. Okay. Here? Yeah. I don't have any pain in my back. You had pain before. What about your legs? You said they were all tense. Well, that just happens when I squat because I don't really exercise. However, I don't really have any pain. This, the little draw she has. That's just because I don't exercise. I don't. <laughs> Let's ask uh, one last question and we'll turn off the camera. Mm -hmm. um, I want you to tell me how right your dad was to bring you here. Oh my God. Y'all would really put that question in the end. He is correct. <laughs> he should have done it sooner though. <laughs> Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> so what are some of your first impressions of Dr. Thayer? Um, I could tell he was a Leo. He was <laughs> very flamboyant, but we love him and he's really nice. So yeah, it was super I felt super comfortable coming into the office the first time. Okay, good. Was it scary getting adjusted for the first time? I watched some videos before, so I was a little freaked out, but I did preliminary research. Um, so I was like less freaked out when I got there, but it didn't hurt. Everything was fine. So yeah. Okay, great. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, my like muscle pain is like somewhat gone. So, so I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So do you really think this is going to work? Yes. How'd you guys do? How'd you do? Well, I was kind of tired because didn't sleep that much the night before. The night and before, then, yeah. Yeah, and so then after I got the adjustment, I remember you said that we were gonna, we might be a little bit tired afterwards. Were you tired? So I was really tired, and then I got even more <laughs> tired from that. So I like meant to take a nap in between my ice, my icing sessions. But then I fell asleep for six hours. No, I told you not to sleep before oh, nine yeah. o'clock. <laughs> well, her notes. So first day with notes, and again, notes are the most important thing we do here. The first note on here is ten forty p.m. Uh, painting mm -hmm. on drafting paper or table, drafting. draft low back. Basically my lower back was starting to hurt, tables tilted so that I don't have to bend over. But I think that my po I was like messing with my posture a little bit yeah. too much or something like yeah. that without knowing. So she already understands what's going yeah. on to a certain extent and the most important thing here is that she's noticing that her posture on something other than the couch or other than mm -hmm. standing is causing her pain. I was watching TV on my computer. Okay, a laptop though, a laptop. Yeah, table. So I was sitting on my bed, but I had like pillows to like do a little makeshift table moment, and then my back was against the wall. But then gotcha. I stopped doing that because I was like, it be hurting. Again, she's really noticing really quick that what she does affects her. Good. What time did you wake up from your nap? Like 10 p.m. Okay, and then so you stayed up the rest of the night? Yeah. Did you paint the rest of the night? What did you do? I painted a little bit, but I fixed my posture that I was more comfortable because I said that I was getting pain in my lower back but it was because I was doing the whole like like sitting up straight and like putting the shoulders back but I caught myself doing it really so you're in bed doing this or on? no I was on I was sitting like on my desk sure. and then I watched TV with the glasses so I put <laughs> my neck. and then like if I side table my dad like make sure I'm using them okay, get the glasses. so these are the glasses her dad got her yeah <laughs> I have like blue ones. <laughs> They're pretty. I watch TV. I was like this. How does it feel to watch them like that? Pretty good. And then I like I can use my phone too. So that's what I was doing. That's I was hilarious. holding it up. I was doing that for like the whole night basically. Did you ice by the way? I did. I iced twice. Tell me how you iced. Um. So I got a zip, a giant Ziploc bag, and I put ice in it, and then I wrapped like a thin towel, and then I wrapped it around my neck, and I sat down on at a chair, and I watched. I look straight. Okay. Still hurt a little bit, but it's like quick, so it, was quick. it feels better yeah. afterwards. That one didn't really hurt. Dr. Thayer! Exactly. <laughs> Everything I ever knew I learned from Dr. Thayer. You call yourself that top. bitch. Because I absolutely am. <laughs> Do you know how she says on Do you see With that? three purple hearts. My That's phone. what Siri calls me. <laughs> <laughs> and yet took no notes after the second adjustment. Because I genuinely didn't feel anything. The most important thing is when it happens. I don't really care mm -hmm. about the pain. Remember I keep telling yeah. you that? It's about when it happens. So if it happens in the same second lap, mm -hmm. I want to know that. So I asked you to put number of times I adjust you on there. Mm -hmm. So put those times in there. I also ask you what time you wake up. How you slept? Yeah. How you feel in the morning? That's not on here either. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's where I forgot to. <laughs> it's okay. Let's try this. Just uh, she's gonna hate this, which is gonna be a lot of fun. So watch what? her grimace when I first start, because this is gonna have to hurt a lot. What? What? 
Yeah. Like this hurts. Yeah. And I'm pushing about 70, 80% right now. I'm not even full blast. Shit. Yeah. What is that? Scale of 1 to 10. That's like a 12 right now. A 12? This is the feeling you're chasing when you're walking around the block. That's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah. Like a little neck crack moment or what are we doing? Yeah, it's walk? a moment. It's a moment. Okay. <laughs> okay. Drop your head to the right, please. Drop more. Good. God damn. What was that like? That shit hurted. That one hurt too? But it's fine. It's fine. It feels better, like afterward. Okay, let this go. He looks like he's in like 30. Good. Hello, these are my pants. Okay, how long did it take you to do them? 20 minutes. 20 go, minutes? No go way. I had to and I was like, I need to do something interesting because I'm not wearing no clothes. That was really this. 20 minutes? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Do you have a website too? Yes, hawaiana.com. And what do you sell on there? Anything from creative direction, marketing expertise, to digital prints and sustainable fashion. Okay, this is Dr. Thayer's birth chart, everyone. <laughs> Screenshot it and Just we can tell talk. Tell me how messed up, tell yeah. how messed up I am. Okay, everyone. I do personal readings. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, Time passages. <laughs> So uh, I have some issues, I guess. She's Actually, a lot of your stuff is pretty good. She takes my birthday, my year I was born, and where I, where I was born. And it comes out a celestial positioning of all the stars at that particular time when I was born. And that's what drives us. That's what she says. Exactly. It's that Mercury and Leo. Is that good? Was that that's a good. That Mercury's intellect, how you learn, how you process information. She just had her first massage, and I want you to tell them what the massage is like. It was pretty good. Have you had massages before this? I have, but they were horrible. Okay. And they weren't like real massages. They were okay, just so, like... Uh, I'm always trying to encourage you guys to at least do a couple massages here because we do a mm -hmm. specialty massage here. Well, they first start out with like certain pressure points on the neck and on the shoulders. And that kind of relaxes the muscle right away and oop, and alleviates a lot of that pain. The Look other ones, they kind of just like rubbed your back and then they did a little of this, they did a little of that and they're like... All right, we're done. We hire special massage therapists that do exactly what we need to do to complement my work here. And we're neck focused here. She did the whole body on you, mm -hmm. but she could tell that there was, as she says, she yeah. could tell that she focused on certain points to relax her. Yeah. So actually, I think I might have almost found my sweet spot, right? Ooh. I went to the mall yesterday, right? And like the eight pants is like coming more naturally to me now. Good. So Good. like I'm doing this more. And yeah, then yeah, I yeah. noticed when you were telling me I keep like doing that. So like, I mean, I think like this is like... And how'd you feel the last couple days? You started feeling like... So it, it was still kind of like hurting. It was kind of sore, uh -huh. but I didn't... It, I could tell that it wasn't from the way that I was positioning my head because I remember like this used to be more comfortable because I wasn't using the muscles in the back of my head here. So I guess this was kind of unnatural for me. So feeling a little bit of like... I Not like tension, but like feel like the muscles being used here was unusual at first. But I noticed that the more that I pushed my head down and like actually like oriented my face in the right place, it um, was like much less painful than doing this all the time because yeah. I could feel the bone like right. it feels pretty damn Exactly. Good. So this is the first step. This is this week. Next week we'll do some different stuff to make yeah. this even look better. But um, right now the most important thing is the aha moment that she knows mm -hmm. that she has more control of her pain than you would think. Yeah, I noticed that my traps were a lot softer and then like here was like soft when I was like positioning my head. Good, good, good. So those are all great signs. So we just turned the chair last time. I'm going to go back to the middle neck adjustment here. Create more flexibility in this neck. So, so that was pretty good. That wasn't painful.